Um, I guess that passage fits really well with why I came into social work and uh, social workers in general as well. Um, it fits really well with the ethos of social work about standing up for justice, for um, standing up for those that are oppressed, to give people a voice, advocating. Um, and I suppose for me, thinking about um, social work in our community and where the church can fit in, um, you know, in my involvement in social work within Bernardo's, most of the people, families, children that we deal with, is, we, they come, we come across them because they're isolated in some way, um, because they're struggling with something, but mostly because they're isolated. They don't have somebody advocating for them to give them that voice. They don't have somebody who can give them the encouragement, to give them some confidence, just to give them some advice, um, sometimes just to stand beside them as they try to do things for themselves and be there when maybe it doesn't work or when it does work. And I guess that's something that we all have as a community, as, a, as um, with our families, as a community in the church, but we also have that additional, we have that through God as well. We have that power, we have that hope, we have that encouragement. Um, and I think that's probably something that we can do for others as well. We can get to know our neighbours within the church, within our community. Um, it's not just people that are elsewhere. It, it could be our neighbour that's struggling with mental health or with um, with um, you know opportunities for work or opportunities for for money, especially at the moment during COVID and things as well. Um, and it, we could do some of the as a church that preventative before things reach a crisis point. We could be looking out for people and seeing where people are struggling or maybe needing a little bit of support and showing our the grace that God has had for us and the encouragement and the hope that we get. We could share that with others as well.